It's all about becoming loved, man. That's what it's all about. See, God is love, man. He is. Love is holy. Love is pure. Love is righteous. Love is glorious. Love is powerful and mighty. And that's why God is all those things, because He is love. And Jesus didn't die just to just so we can be forgiven and make it to heaven one day. He died so we can be saved and set free from sin and from ourselves and from selfishness. And we could be transformed into his image, which is love. We could be transformed into love itself. And that's how we become like him. That's how we become like God. It is so much more simple than what we what we make it. God is not all about religion or tradition or denomination. It's not about that, man. It's about relationship. It's about becoming love. It's about loving God. And loving people with all that you are. Because true love is selfless. True love is pure. True love is holy. True love is righteous. True love is glorious. It's mighty and powerful. And it moves mountains, man. I'm telling you, it truly is this simple. You know, the more... We get along with God and go after Him. The more we fall in love with Him and get to know Him, the more we have relationship with Him, the more His grace, the more His love, and the more that relationship transforms us and changes us into His image, the more it transforms us into love itself. Because the more you get to know him, the more you fall in love. And the more you fall in love, the more you want him. The more you want even more relationship, even more of him. And then the more you become like him. that, And then you're able to love others around you like you were never able to love them before. You're able to love even your enemies. Because his love abides in you. He abides in you. And it, tra it changes you, man. It changes you from the inside out. Man, I'll tell you what. It's, it's so simple, and we have overcomplicated it. God has shown me these past few weeks, past couple weeks, how simple it truly is. And how we need to keep it at His heart. Keep it simple. Focus on His heart. Focus on the, the true simplicity of Christ and the gospel and keep it there because we overcomplicate it and we add to it and we think it, it, it's got to be this way or that way and we add our own religious views and our own traditions and it corrupts it man it corrupts the purity of what it truly is and then we get it becomes about Something that it's not, man. It comes about religion or works or trying to do this right or, or, or you know, it, it's not like that. It's about just becoming who you, he's created you to be. And it's about understanding that you're not working your way to become a son of God or become a daughter of God. You already are. Like, once you surrender your life to Christ, here's the thing, this is awesome. Once you surrender your life to Christ and give Him everything, He puts His Holy Spirit within you. Once you say, you know, you give Him everything, ask Him to come and make His home within you, He puts His Holy Spirit within you and you become born again in the Spirit and He becomes your Father. So you're no longer fathered by this world. Or the, or the God, the evil God of this world, which is Satan. But you're fathered by the God of, of the heavens. You're fathered by Abba, Father God, the Holy One. I'm talking about, the, I'm telling you, you're fathered by love. Because that's what he is. And that's who he is. 
and, and you realize that you you don't have to work your way to be a son, to be a daughter, to be a child of God. That as soon as you surrendered and took the free gift of salvation that Jesus Christ paid for on the cross, and by his resurrection, and by sending the Holy Spirit to live in those who believe and surrender their lives to him, man, when it enters into you, you become born again in the Spirit. And if you truly understand that, and you understand that from that moment on, He is your Father, and you are His son, you are His daughter, and He loves you. And as much as we, people of this earth, love their sons and daughters, their precious sons and daughters, He loves us way more than we could possibly love our sons and daughters. Do you understand? Like... Like, would you ever, because your son or daughter messed up, would you ever tell them you, you don't love them, you don't want anything to do with them? No. You would be there for them. If they fell, if they, they, if they fell and hurt themselves, you would run to them and tell them you're here, you love them, you're here for them, they need you. God does the same for us, but somehow we get it in our minds because of religion and because of the voice of the enemy that he like is somehow ashamed of us. Or he somehow doesn't want anything to do with us because we messed up. That's the lie of the enemy. The enemy put that... Thing in your path that caused you to trip and then he started with the voices as soon as you fell to make you think your father didn't love you and that's a lie your father loves you man he loves you radically and he's there with his hand out wanting to pull you back up dust you off and tell you how proud he is of you and to tell you to keep on going because he has mighty plans for you if you're down right now, if you've fallen, if you tripped, and you messed up and you're down, and you're feeling guilty and condemned, I just, I break that off of you right now in the name of Jesus Christ, and I, I lose the truth that God is your Father, and He loves you, and He's waiting on you to get back up, so He can dust you off and, ke and help you to keep going, because I'm going to tell you something, you may be down right now, but He has, our Father, your Father, has amazing plans for you. I'm talking about he has amazing, glorious plans for you to further his kingdom, to carry out his will, to bring forth the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God everywhere you go. He has those plans for you still. And he's waiting on you to to have faith in him and to have faith in, in his plan for your life and to get back up and to repent, get back up and follow Jesus Christ again. So I encourage you, man, don't stay down and stop buying into the lies of the enemy. Your father is love, and he has love for you, and he forgives you. You just got to get back up and keep going. Don't stay down, man. Don't stay down. Son, daughter of God, don't you stay down. You get back up and you keep going. And you fall in love with your father. You get to know him like you've never known him. And you allow him to do the work in you. You stop trying to change yourself for him. Stop it. You go to him. You go to him and you fall in love with him and you allow him to do the changing in you. He is our potter. We are just the clay. The clay cannot mold itself. Do you understand? The potter has to mold the clay. Okay? But we have to give him permission to do so. We have to go to him and have that relationship with him and allow him to mold us more and more into his image by getting in relationship with him, by getting along with him every day in our secret place and falling in love with him and seeking after him and allowing him to mold us and allowing him to use us to carry out his will, to bring forth his kingdom, to be his vessels. It's powerful, man. It's so powerful. And it's all about love. It's all about falling in love with him, letting him love us, letting him help us to love others, help us to become love. It's, it's amazing. Keep it simple. Fall in love with God, man. He is your father. Understand that he is your father and that he loves you with all that he is. Fall in love with him and go after him, man. It will change you from the inside out. This is real, you guys.
This is this is more real than anything in this world. I love you. I just had to share this with you, and I hope someone receives something out of this. I, I really do. Keep it simple. Let him do the work in you. You just fall in love with him. You get to know him. You go after him. He'll do the rest. Trust me. He will, he will do the rest, and it's powerful. God bless you. Jesus loves you.